There's more than one type of fellowship here in Australia. Hey there, Dr. Anthony Llewellyn, the career doctor from Advanced Med. One of the many points of confusion about the Australian medical system is around fellowships. This can be confusing for both international doctors as well as local doctors. You see, there's more than one type of fellowship here in Australia. Broadly speaking, there's two types. There's a fellowship you obtain when you become basically a member of the specialty college, and there's a fellowship that you obtain by applying for a job that's called a fellowship. So let's, let me go into that in a little bit more detail. So basically, if you want to train in any particular specialty field in Australia, you need to apply for training through a particular specialty college. Uh, there are many of those, in fact, uh, if we include the College of Dental Surgeons, then there are 16 colleges here in Australia, many of which are also the same college for New Zealand. Uh, but college training programs for specialists are larger than that because some of the colleges run more than one program, like the College of Physicians, which runs several, including the adult medicine and paediatric training programs. So if you're a doctor from overseas and you're wanting to become a fellow, what you're probably wanting to do is train with a college or be assessed by a college to be given or granted the fellowship. What's often confusing is I see international doctors looking at jobs that are advertised for fellowships and thinking that's their pathway to specialist practice here in Australia. It's not. You see, there's another type of fellowship which is basically a transition job somewhere between completing your advanced training and becoming a consultant. Uh, they're quite popular in some of the capital city uh, more prestigious hospitals where they're often attached to research institutes or universities. So the whole idea of a fellowship position is to do some additional research in a particular specialty area whilst also doing some clinical practice. The low between research and clinical practice can vary in some of these roles. Often these fellowships are very, very academic. Often they also include some teaching component as well. So they're usually like a one or two, maybe even three year role where you're subspecializing in a particular area and doing some research focus. You don't get any particular certificate or qualification once you've completed them, although obviously you might be doing one whilst you're involved in say master's research or even a PhD. And they aren't a pathway to specialty practice. Most of the people that take on one of these roles have already gotten through most of the steps that they require for their fellowship. They're often seen as prestigious as I said and advantageous uh, in terms of then getting a particular consultant role down the track. So that's the difference between fellowship of the college and a fellow job advertised uh, on the web.